whichever number this lands on is how many likes we have to get and make sure you guys turn your notifications on. Today we're gonna be exploring the past three Funky Friday maps and uncovering every single secret. I wasn't able to get the original Funky Friday map but if I can I'll be sure to put it in a future video. This is where you would find the imposter before he moved to Miku Borgar and this imposter would move around the map every single update. There's also many dumpsters around the map which if you guys didn't know are modeled after Java Coded's real life house. We have two right here, three right here, and another one right there. We also have the old red carpet stages which have never been used in any other map. We have a bunch of telephone booths sitting around the map which I guess are used to communicate with other players. And last but not least, they have a lot of drawings of other contributors around the map. Right here we have Masters, over here we have Ozzy, and right here we have, um, uh, no we don't talk about that person, never mind. Moving on to the second Funky Friday map, we have a lot more secrets. The first big secret is that Bomb got a completely new outfit change, and there's a model of Cerno that randomly appeared. The second Peppy machine completely disappeared and was replaced by the Chiramaru machine. A cool thing about this machine is that when it first got added to the game, it would give you a secret animation when you first use it. I don't know if it still does, but it would be pretty cool if it does. If we go over to Toho Cafe, right here we have Vern, who is one of the contributors. Vern's actually the person who built Toho Cafe, I'm pretty sure. And right next to Vern, we have the Cerno animation, which appears again right here. We also have the chairs that would later appear in Tam Shop, as well as the Fumo band that also appears at Tam Shop. Right behind the leaderboard, we have a picture of Miku, and I, I forgot who that is, as well as a bunch of arrow sprites. Right here, we have two dumpsters, which are actually modeled after Java Coded's real-life house, as well as another dump truck. Slightly above Java's house, we have this pretty cool big flop. I used to call this room the elevator, since it looks a lot like an elevator, but unlike the other buildings, this was never used as a shop. Speaking of shops, if we head over to Miku Borgar, we actually have the imposter right here, who is right next to a model of Java Coded's old avatar. We also have a pretty cool menu right here, but it was never actually used in the game. Same thing with the Toho Cafe menu, I don't know why they never use it. There's also another animation thing of this cat, and all of the contributor drawings were also moved over to this map. Now if we head over to the third and most recent map, there are actually a lot of secrets I missed since last time. Right next to Bomb Shop, we have this unoccupied building, and you know, there's literally nothing in here, but on the outside of it, we have this cool little Miku poster. Toho Cafe was turned into a new building called the Tam Shop, and as we can see, they have multiple features from Toho Cafe, such as the Fumo Band and the old chairs. Right next to Cerno, we have this secret message right here, and we also have all of Tambrush's UGC items, as well as a ton of posters hidden around the map. We have a pretty mysterious portal right here, which a lot of you guys theorize might be used for the RB Battles event. Miku Borgar has a completely new revamp, and as we can see, the imposter has a fresh new outfit. The menu still hasn't changed at all, but it doesn't work just yet. If we climb up the ladder hidden outside of Miku Borgar, there is a cool little stage hidden up here, and you can also do emotes by standing right here above the stage. Right across from Miku Borgar, there's also a stage hidden above the shop. We have a completely new imposter model hidden right under this bridge thing right here, and the cat animation thing is still in the new map. We also have a bunch of mysterious billboards hidden around the map, so I don't know what those will be used for in the future. Also, apparently this cat right here is wanted for treason. Right next to the exit, we have a completely new trash bin model, which by the way is actually modeled after Java's real life house, and all of the tree models were completely revamped. The Miku poster and whoever this is is still here, but all of the note sprites that were previously here are gone. Bomb is also rocking his fresh original outfit. We have a bunch of animation previews up here, and right here is a model of a lawnmower from Java and Lego's old game Lawnmower Simulator. Also, for some reason, Bomb has a safe right here. Let me know what you guys think he's hiding in it. If you guys want me to do a part two where I go over all secrets in the Halloween and Christmas variations of the map, as well as all the custom maps, then let me know in the comments because I will definitely try and make a part two on this. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you all in the next video.